Until very recently, any person with one drop of black blood was black. Hello, how you doing? My name is Antonio. My page is unapologetically black. ADOS asks that you like and subscribe to the page. I want us to understand that white supremacy comes from white's genetic inferiority. White people created a one drop rule stating that one drop of black blood makes you black, meaning that one drop of my blood has the ability to annihilate your whole lineage. That is a place of insecurity. That is a place where you have admitted to being inferior to blacks. In America's beginning, there was race mixing, especially among indentured servants and slaves. In 1670s, Black men have to understand that there's no bigger fear to white men than black masculinity. Black men need to understand that there's no bigger threat to white men than black masculinity. This comes out by how aggressive white men act towards black men dating white women or white women who date black men while having no issue with white men dating black black women. Yes, honey? A mixed race family featured in a Cheerio ad now on YouTube forced to shut down the comments section after incredibly racist posts. Hi everyone, it's David Begno. This is Newsbreaker. So here's the spot. Dad told me that Cheerios is good for your heart. Is that true? It says here that Cheerios has whole grain oats that can help remove some cholesterol and that's heart healthy. Well, that was just catnip for the racist kooks and wackos out there who immediately started leaving offensive comments. The Daily Mail reporting, some of the posts referred to Nazis, racial genocide, and things we can't and won't say. HuffPo reports the serial's Facebook page, also targeted by one guy who said, quote, single parent in the making, black dad will dip out soon. Foot and it is a uh, white man dating a black woman, then this series can last for uh, four or five seasons, but the commercial couldn't last a couple of weeks where it was the black man dating a white woman. So you see that that law, miscegenation laws, was motivated in part by white men feeling inferior to black men on a sexual level. A new comedy coming to CBS this fall. Can we please focus? Now? Calm down, Bob. You're no good to us dead. <laughs> we have a 50 year old male, chest pains. White man had no issue okay? with this white man okay. dating yeah. this Stop. black yeah. woman for four or five seasons, though. You look like an angel. What happened? You had three stents put in. Is that a lot? For a man your size, no. The reason why white men didn't have an issue with this television series and it didn't get the backlash to the point where it had to be taken off air like the Cheerios commercial is because they never had an issue with white men sleeping with black women. It's an insecurity about that black woman having an attraction towards any other black man, though. And they have an insecurity about their white women dealing with any black men. This is why you have the Day of the Rope, which I discussed in the uh, uh, previous video, where they're going to hang white women who were sleeping with black men. So you have to understand that the hatred the Europeans have of us is driven by insecurity. It's driven by the inability to compete with black people on an equal playing field. Black males make white males so insecure when it comes to women that they kill Emmett Till, a 12, 13, 14 year old child for what they said supposedly whistling at a white woman. That type of hatred could only be sparked 
out of insecurity. White people have a fear that they women do not desire them and most of their women do not desire them. So many of their women do desire black men and this bothers them. Black masculinity is the biggest threat to white males. White males want to exterminate all signs of black masculinity. 